Today, Wyman has created one of the biggest crowdsourced Wi-Fi footprints in the world with more than 50 million hotspots. My guest today is founder and CTO of Wyman, Michele Di Mauro. Join us right after this short message. All right, everybody, welcome back and welcome to another episode of Wi-Fi Night TV. My name, of course, is Klaus Hetting, and I'm your host on the show. And this is the show that brings you all the stories and not least all the great people from across the Wi-Fi industry. And today we'll be talking about really big Wi-Fi networks. And when I say big, I mean, as Donald Trump would probably say, huge Wi-Fi networks. One man um, who we will be interviewing today has amassed more than 50 million Wi-Fi hotspots, and we'll ask my guest today, uh, the founder of Wyman, how he's gonna put them to good use, but uh, much more about that in just a moment. First, I wanna make sure that you know that we are taking Wi-Fi Now, the Expo and Conference to London, UK, this, this October 25th to 27th, and that's actually next week. More than 300 passionate Wi-Fi people have already signed up to join us. And uh, so can you, there's still time to join us next week in London, UK. Uh, we also will have the Wi-Fi Now Awards happening next week in London. And in fact, just this week, we announced the shortlist for the Wi-Fi Now Awards. So go to wi now.international, go to our news and blog section where you can find all the details, uh, including the shortlisted companies for the Wi-Fi Now Awards, and uh, on that website, of course, you'll get all the details for our London Expo and Conference event that's happening next week. So, uh, if you have any questions about that or anything else, just drop me a line at klaus at wi I'm always delighted to hear from our viewers out there, and uh, that's it for my announcement uh, for this week, and I'm delighted to welcome to the show uh, for the first time, Michele Di Mauro of Wyman. Michele, great to see you, and thanks for coming on. Thanks, Klaus. Thanks for the opportunity and uh, for introduction as well. Yeah, you're welcome, and you're coming to us from uh, the Bologna area, northern Italy. Correct, northern Italy. Correct. Okay, very good. It's good to see you, and and we want to get deep into what. Uh, Wyman is doing, of course, in, in the Wi-Fi industry. We have, I, I know that we have a lot of viewers that are interested in that. Can you give us a quick introduction to Wyman for uh, the folks out there that are not familiar with what you do? Of course. Wyman is helping people, you know, get online easily. That's the mission. We are doing it thanks to our Android app today. And the concept behind the concept is really simple. We are surrounded by millions of Wi-Fi uh, around us, okay? But if you want to get, if you want to use an open Wi-Fi, you have two big problems today. First of all, you don't know where they are. <laughs> you actually don't know where they are. Okay? We are surrounded by a million Wi-Fi, but you don't know where they are. So. We have built a, a map, the Wyman app, that lets you give you information about all Wi-Fi nearby. Okay. The second problem is related to the user experience. Today, if you want to use an open Wi-Fi, you have to open your system Wi-Fi manager, choose a Wi-Fi, tap on it uh, to get connected, open your browser, and then try to surf. And unfortunately, many times it doesn't work. On unfortunately, many times a uh, capture portal will come up, an unexpected capture portal will come up. Then we decided to fix it. We decided to automate the process. We have built a smart auto connect that does the work for you, even when your smartphone is in your pocket. The auto Wyman AutoConnect scan, scans all Wi-Fi in range, analyze which one, in order to understand which one is the best, and then connect your smartphone to the best. To the best. <clears throat> right. So, so tell me just a little bit about uh, yourselves, because 
Uh, all of this sounds really compelling, but where did you guys get the idea for the product in the first place? You are a startup, by the way, I should say, right? You yeah, know what yeah, yeah, yeah. We started as a hardware company. We were among the first companies to build, you know, what we call the social router because we applied social login phase, I mean Facebook, Google, to the, you know, Wi-Fi authentication, social login mechanics to mm -hmm. uh, Wi-Fi authentication. But, you know, for a startup, for an outdoor startup, it's not easy to grow up really fast worldwide. And then we decide to pivot our focus to mobile. The first version of the Android app let user roam uh, in the Wyman app, in the Wyman network, made of all Wyman router. And then we decide to make it universal. We decide to connect people to all open Wi-Fi worldwide. Okay, very good. So a couple of follow-up questions for you, because uh, you do say that you've got 50 million, more than 50 million uh, um, hotspots out there that you can connect to. First of all, can you promise us that that is a real number? Because it sounds like an astronomically enormous number, right? And secondly, how did you manage to, you know, get all of those hotspots into your database and your app and so forth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our database, we have two different kinds of Wi-Fi. The first one, all, I mean, all open Wi-Fi that are automatically collected, okay? When the Wyman Auto Connect discovers a new wi automatically discovers a new Wi-Fi, it mm. sends this information to our cloud infrastructure. And we all build a smart algorithm that calculates a kind of score for each network for each Wi-Fi um, based upon Wyman community activity. The second kind of Wi-Fi are explicitly hunted by the Wyman community. I mean, all those Wi-Fi that are password protected, it means that in order to hub a Wi-Fi to the Wyman database, all you have to do is type the password and you are done. It's a matter of second without any technical skill. And hmm. the, the, the cool thing is that today we are adding 1,000 password sharing, or password, um, password protected Wi-Fi, okay? And 100,000 open Wi-Fi every day. That's amazing. But so, so these are absolutely huge numbers, of course, nearly crazy numbers. I would say amazing, right? But but tell me, how many users out there are actively Wyman users? I mean, you must have. There must be, you know, millions well, of users. Or well, four million users have used the Wyman app, and we have, you know, two hundred active daily active two hundred thousand daily active users, but. <laughs> The cool thing is that open Wi-Fi are automatically collected. So even if you are not hacking because you do not yeah. open the Wi-Man app, uh, we are still able to collect Wi-Fi, even when your smartphone is in your pocket without uh, destroying your battery, of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Michele, I've got to challenge you a little bit because all of this, by the way, sounds really, really amazing, especially for somebody like me who's been, you know, following this uh, crowdsourcing and this massive footprint wi yeah. type Wi-Fi uh, business story for a long time. But uh, let me ask you this. One of the big issues in crowdsourcing uh, Wi-Fi hotspots is that uh, they were never really originally intended or so, not all. Some of them are, but some of them were never intended to be used in that manner by the venues that provide the Wi-Fi. So, for example, if you're a, if you're a coffee house or something like that, uh, you want people to come in and sit down and, uh, and log on to your Wi-Fi network in order you know, that you can engage with your consumers. Uh, but by doing what you're doing, of course, you're, you're kind of short-circuiting in that and going directly, uh, allowing automatic connections. Have you been experiencing any pushback in the market for this or is there any way to give back some of this value that you're creating to the venues that are actually providing the 
the free Wi-Fi to your service and to your users. Do you, do you understand what I mean? Yes, we have two different, um, different kind of users that are sharing pass, Wi-Fi password. Small business owners, you mm. know, and um, because they receive, they, are, they get information about their customers. You know, mm. in the Wyman app, if you share a Wi-Fi, if you share a Wi-Fi password and become admin, okay, you will get a lot of information about your customers. I mean, aggregated analytics, like gender, age, uh, returning users, how many connections, how many exchange of data, and so on and so on. And uh, the second kind is private, normal people okay, that every day share password for the community, okay, mm. and then get connected to other people Wi-Fi. Okay, we have applied, you know, game mechanics as well. We have, you know, that in order to keep our user engaged with the app, you know, their current points, they are able to challenge uh, their friends on other women users in their city. And I would say that it works, it's work. Mm -hmm. So what are you seeing in terms of the typical profile of a Wyman user? Are they uh, typically young folks? Or I, I, I also seem to remember that you're doing a lot of, you're having a lot of success, for example, in emerging markets. Can Correct. you tell us something about that? US, LATAM, and Italy, of course. Mm -hmm. um, okay, it depends on the country. For example, in Italy, the, the, the average age is higher than in Latin America and US, but basically we are around the typical, the target is uh, 25, 35 years old and uh, not so, uh, I, mean, I will say, I would say normal people with not high, high again, you know, uh, I profile devices. I yeah. say a lot of one device, Android devices, um, yeah. lower devices. Yeah. Because All right. We have a lot of information about devices as well. Yeah. So I, I yeah. see that there are so many low end devices involved. Yeah. Michele, I want to ask you the last question. That's probably maybe the, here's the, you know, multi-million dollar question, right? So you've got this fantastic, uh, enormous uh, uh, footprint out there of millions of hotspots. So how are you planning, what are you going to do with it? In other words, how are you going to monetize this? And uh, I, know, I know, by the way, by the way, we should also say before you answer, we should say you will be coming to Wi-Fi Now London next week and i think you're going to announce some things there that so don't talk about that <laughs> but maybe give us a more general answer yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we we have been spending we have been working for two years on building our database and our technologies you know so uh, today we are ready to let other users outside from the one community i mean to roam in the Wyman network, of course, the huge Wyman network. And, and that's the first, the first way to monetize our database. Moreover, we have built uh, a set of amazing technologies, you know, and uh, we are going to make them available to third party developers through the Wyman SDK as well. And moreover, we are collecting a lot of data that are absolute about, you know, users' behavior, okay? And they are absolutely valuable for marketing purposes, you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Michele, it's great to have you on the show. I'm excited about this because, uh, uh, you know, I only heard about you guys, I think, less than a month. It might have been two months ago, but no more than that. So. It's super interesting what you're doing, and I'm super, super happy uh, that you're all, you know, not only that you're on the show tonight, of course, uh, on the TV show here, but also that you're coming to London next week. And uh, I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that will be interested in knowing a lot more about what you guys do. So thank you so much for coming on, and I'll see you next week in London, right? Thank you.
seeing you in London then. Pleasure. Thank you so Bye. much. All right, folks, that's it for today's show with Michaela DiMaro of Wyman. And uh, next week I'm off since I'm going to London for the Wi-Fi Now International Conference, of course, uh, and um, conference and expo, of course. Uh, but we will be back very soon with more great guests, and um, that'll take me a week or so. So I'll see you next time for another great episode, and thank you for watching. Yeah.